Well, have you started making your Thanksgiving preparations? November's just around the corner, right? The holiday is going to be here before you know it. A local organization, Families Feeding Families, is working right now to provide 40 tons of food to people in need this Thanksgiving. Joining us now to talk about their efforts is founder Quincy Collins. Quincy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much so for this, having us. Oh, absolutely. We love to talk about good news like this. So this mission is not new to you. You've been doing this since you were a kid, but your organization has been doing this for 11 years. Correct. Talk a little bit about how you got started feeding people who are hungry in our community. Well, it, it started with a, a family member at my local church. They lost everything in a fire. Um, so local uh, community leaders and others were, you know, basically trying to find them a home and somewhere to uh, to uh, to put, you know, basically the clothing and things of that nature. So I decided to focus on food and asked a few friends of mine to help out and pitch in. And next thing you know, we went from one family to <laughs> 1,500 families and, mm. you know, just been working to try and help as many families as possible. And even before that, you were going out to feed people with your grandparents, I remember Correct. telling that's me. Correct, that's right. Absolutely. When you were a kid. That's, that's right. That's yeah. Awesome. So that, so when we were, as a kid, my grandparents, you know, would go out and feed, you know, uh, people that were up under the Uvalde Bridge here mm -hmm. in Houston with a beef stew. So that's, it's been an amazing, you know, uh, uh, step from going from, you know, what they were doing to just paying homage and, you know, and making sure that their, you know, legacy lives on uh, helping people. I love that. So you set big goals every year. Absolutely. Let's absolutely. talk about your 2024 goal and how you are with that right now. All right. So uh, 2024, our goal is to feed 1,500 families mm -hmm. and uh, provide them with uh, 40 tons of food. That's how much food we are looking to give to the families that are actually in uh, the Fort Bend County area and a -Leaf. We're really trying to really focus on making sure that those families are taken care of in that area. So 1,500 families is our goal this year. That's great work. And you, you get to see firsthand the impact your efforts are making on our community. Are there any stories that stand out to you? There's one story that stands out. Um, it was, a, it was a, a family that we were uh, going to see. It was our last mm -hmm. uh, family. Uh, we went into like an abandoned apartment complex and as we were walking to her house, um, we opened the door, I mean, we knocked on the door, the grandmother opened the door, and the uh, grandchildren were saying, Granny, Granny, somebody brought us food. Oh. Mommy said that somebody was bringing us food. Wow. And uh, so we actually helped them out even more and, uh, you know, provided them with furniture and things of that oh, nature. Wow. So we, we took, we went above and beyond, but that was one of the, you know, most impacted uh, examples of what we see uh, with families that are in need. You have a lot of sponsors. Um, yes. H-E-B, to name one of yeah, the big absolutely. ones. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a hundred dollars feeds a family for a week and helps them get their Thanksgiving dinner, right? That is correct. So people watching, how can they get involved, whether they give a donation, whether they want to volunteer, and is there room for people who still need help? Oh, absolutely. So what you do is that you go to our website at www.fhfhouston.org. Mm -hmm. You can go there, you can sign up to either volunteer, but make a, a donation as well. So when you go uh, there, you, you'll be able to do both of those at the same time. Okay. And and it, well, I'm telling you, that $100 would be able to spread and help a family that's in need. Oh, Quincy, thank you so much for all you're doing. Thank you for coming to the studio thank you. to share more about your project. We appreciate hearing from you. Um, and if you need that information, I know it was a lot. We will post this story on our website, clicktohouston.com.